Welcome to my channel, I'm Scott, and in this video I'm going to walk you through the process of valuing Alimentation Kushtard stock by analyzing their financial statements and dissecting their financial ratios so we can determine if it's a buy or a sell. Let's get started with the model. This is a large cap company, 59 billion market cap. They're trading at $61 a share and they have 960 million shares outstanding. Let's look at their financials. The way you value a company is you estimate the free cash flows into the future and then you discount those numbers back to today's value. That's what we're doing in this video. And free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. Their free cash flow looks great. 2.9 billion up to 4.1 billion. Net income is the profit or loss on the income statement. It's revenue minus expenses. And that's steady as they get, 2.7 billion to 2.9 billion. Revenue is the sales of the company and that grew a lot from 46 billion to over 70 billion. And they had really big growth from 2021 to 2022, 37%. Then another 14% into 2023. It did dip 2% in the trailing 12 months. I guess you just can't grow forever. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. We also estimated the terminal value, which is all cash flows past year four, that's 76 billion. We discounted the numbers back to today using a weighted average cost of capital. We get a value of the company of $69 billion. We divide that by 960 million shares. And we get a calculated stock price of $71. They're trading at $61, so they're trading at a 15% discount. It's a buy according to the model. I've done a bunch of videos on this stock when it was back at like $30 and I was really bullish back then. I'm a little bullish now and this is my favorite Canadian stock. It's a good company. There are 12 companies in the same industry as Kushtard and if they have a number in red they're worse than the median. If they have a number in blue they're better. They spend a lot on CapEx, 1.9 billion. Kroger is number one at 3.6 billion. They have a good debt to equity ratio, a lot better than the median average. Look how leveraged ACI is, 5.8. They do pay a dividend, it's a little small, 0.8%. Natural Grocers pays over 9%. They generate the most free cash flow out of anybody. They're the largest company on this list. They have pretty weak price multiples. All are worse than the median. Price of free cash flow is equal to the median. They generate lots of revenue. Look at Kroger, double the revenue with smaller market cap. That's why they have such an attractive price sales ratio, 0.2. Let's take a look at their most recent quarterly report. This is the second quarter of 2024 because their fiscal year ends April 30th. The first quarter of 2024 was 731, 2023. The second quarter was 1031, 2023. So their third quarter of 2024 will be 131 2024 and their last quarter of 2024 will be 430 2024. They had 12,337 stores in the beginning of this period. About 10,000 are operated by this company. 340 stores they own the real estate but a third party operates the stores. 792 stores owned and operated by a third party. They just supply fuel to these companies and they have 1,263 franchise stores. In the quarter, they acquired six stores. They opened 48 stores and closed 70. So their store count went down a little bit. They own Circle K, that's 2,100 stores. When you include Circle K, it's 14,425 stores. And they have over 1,000 fuel stations. And they increased their dividend 25% this quarter. They increased it three and a half cents to 17 and a half cents. That's Canadian dollars. Their revenue for the quarter is 16.4 billion, down 3% from last year. They give a nice breakdown of the revenue. 4.1 billion is merchandise and services. 3 billion of that is in the US. 570 million in Europe and other regions. 600 million in Canada. Their fuel revenue is 12 billion. 8 billion in the US. 2.6 billion in Europe. 1.5 billion in Canada and then 155 million of other revenues. They had 4.1 billion of merchandise revenue. The gross profit was 1.4 billion. That's pretty good margins. Fuel much lower, 12 billion of revenue and the same amount of gross profit, 1.45 billion. So really slim margins. They have one and a half billion of operating and SG&A expenses. So operating income, 1.1 billion, same as last year. Net earnings, 819 million, a little higher than last year. So that gives them an EPS of 85 cents, up 7.6% from last year. They buy back lots of stock. It was over 1 billion last year. Now it's 966 million. Let's look at that balance sheet. Current assets of 7 billion, current liabilities of 6 billion. 
So their current ratio is above one. 1.4 billion of cash, 2.5 billion of accounts receivables, over 2.2 billion of inventory. Their biggest asset is property and equipment, 12 billion. They have 6.6 .6 billion of goodwill. So total assets, 30 billion, 29 billion last year. Total liability, 17 billion. It was 16 billion last year. Their biggest liability is long-term debt, 5.9 billion. Here's a breakdown of the long-term debt. 4 billion is US debt, 1.6 billion Canadian debt, 800 million Euro debt, 61 million Norwegian debt, and 311 million of commercial paper. Their assets minus liabilities is 13 billion. They raised 600 million from selling their business and they profited 13 billion from running their business. Let's look at their statement of cash flows. Their operating cash flow is 933 million. That's down from 1.2 billion. They had a cash outflow in the investing section of 1 billion, 418 million of PP&A, 35 million of business acquisitions. In their financing section, they had a cash outflow of 450 million. They bought back a ton of stocks, 673 million. They added 590 million of Canadian debt, and they paid 100 million of dividends. Let's look at the stock on Simply Wall Street. Its last price, 61, 58 billion market cap, up 4% in the past week, up 31% in the past year. They operate and license convenience stores in North America, Europe, and Asia. Their stores sell tobacco products, grocery items, candy, snacks, beer, wine, beverages, and fresh offerings, gasoline, and EV charging stations. Their stores operate under the Circle K brand, Couchetard, Holiday, Ingo, and Max brands. They sell lottery tickets, gift cards, stamps, bus tickets. They have ATM machines and car washes. They operate and license stores under the Circle K banner in Cambodia, Egypt, Guam, Guatemala, Honduras, Indonesia, Jamaica, Macau, Mexico, New Zealand, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Vietnam. They were formerly known as ActiDev. They changed their name in 1994, founded in 1980, headquartered in Laval, Canada. Simply Wall Street has them at $61. They say they're priced just right. 16 analysts priced this stock at $63. Their revenue forecast for 2026 is 79 billion. Their debt in 2013 was 3.6 billion. It peaked in 2018 at 9.5 billion. They have decreased it a bit to 6.8 billion. But you can see their equity goes up in a straight line. Equity is about double their debt. And this green line is their cash. They don't have that much cash on their balance sheet relative to their debt, 2 billion of cash. Their dividend back in 2014 was 0.4%, and you can see it pretty much goes up almost in a straight line, but it's still pretty low under 1%. The forecast is 0.9% for 2026. The CEO's salary is $1.5 million, total compensation $13.6 million. Their tenure as CEO is 9.3 years. Lots of insider selling in the past year, just a little buying. About 700,000 shares were sold. Only 6,500 shares were purchased. 45% of the companies held by the general public, 36% by institutions, 14% by private companies, and 4% by insiders. The founder and CEO is Elaine Bouchard. His company owns 11% of the stock. A Canadian pension fund owns 6%. Fidelity, 5.6%. Royal Bank of Canada, 2%. And you can see lots of Canadian companies on this list. Their employee count is pretty high. It was 78,000 in 2013. It's 128,000 currently. And the ticker trades on the TSX, Deutsche Bursa, Mexican Bolsa, and the pink sheets. So let me know what you think. Give the video a like, subscribe, or comment below. If you'd like to get a custom valuation or just support the channel, you can become a member by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.